you know, I'm lending money through my IRA to diff different things that I'm doing that and I'm getting my interest payments back into my IRA and then that money sitting there it, back in my IRA not earning me any money. So, so you really do have to be on top of getting your money back out. That's really important. <music>I always like to, and I'll conclude on this section with um, the rule of 72. Um, Wendy and Bill, you probably have heard that before. So the rule of 72 tells us how quickly we double our money. So a good example is I had a real estate investor that I was working with here in Cleveland, Ohio, where my home base is at. And she bought a property, the purchase and rehab was around $100,000 and she used her self-directed Roth IRA. So $100,000 left the self-directed Roth IRA for the purchase and rehab of this property. She sold the property and she made a 40,000, after closing costs, she made about a $40,000 profit. Now that $40,000 prof, $40, in profit went back into her self-directed IRA and she paid 0% tax. So that's a 40% return on investment. If we use the rule of 72, 72 divided by 40, is one in some change, right? So she'll, if she continues to do that, if she does that every year, she'll double her money every, let's just say two years. She'll double her money every two years. Now, if she did that same investment with her non IRA money, she'd be subject to paying short term capital gains tax. For anyone that's not familiar, short term capital gains is subject to your ordinary income tax rate. Now, knowing her and her husband and their other income sources, they would be at around the 30% all in effective tax rate. So 30% of $40,000 would be, let's say 10% of 40,000 is 4,000 times three, that would be $12,000 in taxes. Mm -hmm. So she wouldn't get, get to keep the full 40,000. That's right. It would be 40,000 minus 12, which would be what, $28,000. So her return on investment isn't 40, isn't 40%, 40 her return on investment is 28%. Right. So now we, we apply that to the rule of 72, 72 divided by 28, now it's taking us about every three years, right? To double our money instead of under two years. And so that's, a, I guess, a mathematical and a broad, broad stroke representation of compounding interest in the absence of taxation and how powerful it can be in a self-directed Roth IRA or even traditional IRA environment. You know, I, I, and I, I love that you brought that up. I, I also love that you talked about how you and your wife talk about moving money. How am I gonna move this today and invest it? Um, you, you're talking about compounding. There are some funds out there too that you can leave your money in there and it can compound instead of going back to your IRA, the money stays in that fund and compounds. And there are other types of investments you can do that will compound your money. The, the mistake that I think a lot of people make, and I'm guilty too, is you know I'm lending money through my IRA to different, um, different things that I'm doing that, and I'm getting my interest payments back into my IRA. And then that money sitting there, it, back in my IRA, not earning me any money. So, so you really do have to be on top of getting your money back out. That's really important. Mm -hmm.